kids, welcome back to another Kids Flower Gaming video. And now today, we are going to talk about add-ons because I finally figured out how to get add-ons into Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, I know, it's quite awesome. Um, I just need to get my yoke out here. Um, by the way, I did get a new setup, so, uh, video coming out on that soon. And, um, yeah, so, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so... I got a brand new setup for New Year's. Uh, this was all meant to be a Christmas present for me. So, yeah, let's test it out. So I got a huge LG curved monitor here. I got the Thrustmaster um, stick system, the Captain Pack. I'll make a video on it, but uh, just listen to this real quick. You might not be able to hear it that, that well, but uh, who cares? Just listen to that beautiful sound. Um, yeah, so, we're gonna talk about free add-ons today because I finally figured out after, like, six months how to get add-ons into Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, we're gonna talk about a ton of add-ons today, so, let's get straight into the video. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, we have a PC-12 here. As you can see, we have three liveries, even though the, um, outside texturing looks kind of questionable. But I won't judge, uh, okay, so let's take off from St. Bartholomew here, 2100 feet of concrete. Um, and, uh, it's just gonna take a while to load. When I mean a while, I mean forever. But, um, you might hear my, uh, MSI gaming laptop fire up, cause, um, it's connected to the iPad for charging the monitor and a bunch of other USB devices. I also got an Oculus Quest 2 headset for VR, so I'll make a video on that. Um, after this loads. Um, uh, subscribe to this channel and the main channel, by the way. Okay, guys, because I really want to hit 100 subscribers this year. 2022, it's a new year, let's hit 100 subscribers. And, uh, yeah, let's... Just fire it up here. Um, yes. Sorry, my internet is a bit slow. Um, yeah, it's just gonna take a while to load. I apologize, but we're doing our best, you know. Um, by the way, did you guys see the uh, Delta One video I made from Las Vegas to New York? Comment down below if you did. That was for New Year's, by the way. Um, yeah, so, some of the new features I got for the new setup is like, like I said, the LG monitor, the Airbus Captain Pack. I also got a new keyboard, so I don't have to use the laptop keyboard. I have an excess keyboard that I can use. You know, I, like I said, I did also get the Oculus. And a bunch of other things. And we have now loaded into the flight simulator here. And it's lagging. It's lagging. Yeah, my RTX is only like 2060, so I mean... What do you expect? Okay, so this is the PC-12 here. Um... Yeah, we can't really get to the, uh... Taskbar here, but... Not taskbar, what am I saying? Whatever. Okay, so let's just change this to a live time here. Real time. And uh, let's go ahead and release the parking brake. Now you may notice this is a stolen TVM cockpit because uh, this is what a lot of the freeware add-ons do. Uh, and I'm using the freeware add-on. Um, we're at flaps 10 and uh, let's just go. Okay, maximum power takeoff. Oh, and we're veering to the left a little bit. So let's kind of do a little bit of right rudder. Okay. Let's just, uh, oh, oh my god. Oh, this plane is, oh my god, this plane, oh my god! Oh my, Jesus! Oh, and, we have just died here. We have just died. Oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna have to restart the flight. We, we have just died. We have just died. Alright, after, uh, like 10,000 minutes of loading, that's what I get. Oh, we also have a few boats right here. I really like the cruise ship, you know? Okay. Let's, uh, at least the parking brake, let's go. 
you know, we're just gonna crank the RPM up, you know, give it some right rudder. Okay, so, uh, well, it's kind of a pressure on the nose this time, so. And we'll go ahead and, oh my god. Uh, well, let's go ahead and rotate. Let's not die again. Oh, oh no, we are dying again. Oh, we are dying again! Oh my god, we have just died again. I'm gonna check to see if my uh, control surfaces are turned on. Oh, all the sticks and everything are turned on, so I mean... Let's just go ahead and uh, put this thing into reverse thrust here. And uh, let's just kind of back out of here. Uh, let's kind of go get back on track here with the reverse thrust. We keep dying today, I don't know why, but... Oh. Uh-huh, let's- come on, come on. Come on. Oh my. Oh my god, we have just- Alright, we're gonna have to restart the flight yet again. This time I'm gonna try putting flaps to zero so that we don't die again. Yeah, we've already taken 10,000 minutes just to review this first aircraft because of my internet. And the loading and stuff. Let's put the flaps up so we don't- have too much lift, and let's go, release the parking brake. Alright, let's keep the aircraft a little bit straight here. If you can see, we, we got another PC-12 with the same livery. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's kind of, uh, let's make sure we don't die this time. Make sure we have enough speed. And rotate. There we go. We have successfully taken off for the first time in this video. And, uh, yeah, let's fly towards the cruise ship here. Um, the airplane does handle very nicely, but, uh, these exterior textures aren't actually that bad. Um, the only thing that is weird here, though, is that, if you can see, the rudder here is kind of rounded, not sharp, like, as you can see. That's kind of weird, but, uh, let's not judge on that. And as you can see here, it looks very nice here. I mean... It's a PC-12. It's like a $5 million aircraft, if you get the NGX version. But it looks very nice. I mean, and it handles like a PC-12, too. Okay, I will be honest. The handling is kind of like the TBM, but that might just be because it uses the TBM cockpit and the physics. But, I mean, it looks very nice. Even the cargo door you can see here is modeled really well. Alright, let's just go ahead and turn back. We're already eight minutes into the recording here. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, not die here, because we almost just did. Um, let's go ahead and uh, go back to the airport, and let's test the stopping performance and see if it's like a real PC-12. Alright, let's go. Power 50, gear down, flaps fully down, and let's make sure we keep pressure onto the nose so that, that uh, the flaps don't, you know get us up in the air too much, okay, if you know what I'm saying. What am I saying? I have no clue on what I'm talking about. I might have to activate the reverser mid-air, because this is a turboprop, so it does have a reverser. Where, um, the propeller actually reverses gear, and the, um, propeller starts turning in a different direction, causing the air to go backwards, and that's how you get the reverser, and that's how you stop. You can actually, uh, reverse using the reverser. Let's go ahead and reduce power to idle. Oh, we are way too fast here. Let's see if the Pilatus 12 can handle a hard landing. You might have to do this from the outside view so that we, so that we know when we've touched down. Oh, 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 pull up, fire. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, we cannot. God, that, that's been a very hard landing. Reverse her out, and there we go. We just stopped in no time. Yeah, so the PC-12 is a very good stopper, okay? But let's actually get into more more serious add-ons, not just like general aviation, you know, PC-12. Let's get into more serious, legit airliners this time. Yeah, obviously. So, um, yeah, let's just get into the airliners. So which airliner should I do first? I mean, I have, 
a few here. I've got the 747-400. Um, I've got the ATR-72, the Airbus A330-900, the AN-225. Um, I think I'll make a video on the AN-225 later. But let's let's do the ATR first, because I think the ATR is kind of a nice one. Let's take off from my local airport. Uh, let's make the flight conditions to live time. And let's fly. Now, I will be switching over to the Captain Pack throttles, because this is a twin-engine plane. So, we'll just be chilling. As you can see, the ATR can access a wide variety of airports. So... We should be able to do this just fine. Alright, so, um, yeah, we're just chilling here. If you can hear stomping in the background, that's because I have a ton of background noise with all the kids in my house. Um, yeah. And so, subscribe yeah. Subscribe to Kidflyer! Yeah, you heard Jeffrey! Subscribe to Kidflyer! Jeffrey, yell it again! Subscribe to Kidflyer! You heard him! Subscribe! Let's go! Get out. Bye, guys! Yup, that's what happens if he doesn't get out. Sometimes, you know, as the older brother, I gotta do that. Oh my god, what is this? We are completely dead! Jesus! What? Oh my god, what is- Oh my god, my RTX 2060 is dying! God! Okay, we're restarting the flight. Because this is a glitch that I've encountered before. We're already 11 minutes into the video just to do two friggin' aircraft. Like, what is this crap? Okay? Let's just, you know, fly the plane as we normally would. Um, for those of you who don't know, I, I am still using my honeycomb yolk because uh, I really like it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take off. Just a huge parking break. And let's go. Well, we are going to the right a little bit, so let's go ahead and, and do some left rudder. Uh, we'll go ahead and rotate at 80 knots. Rotate. And let's go ahead and put the gear up. Let's do, you know, kind of what I like to call the dolphin test. This maneuver. Hmm. I'm sure it handles like an ATR, but it's got a stolen King Air cockpit, as you can see. But I mean, that's no problem, because, I mean, to be fair, this is a, a uh, twin engine turboprop, and so it's the King Air, so let's just go ahead and put the flaps up before we die. As you can see, you're really beginning to pick up speed here. Oh, and it looks kind of weird. I think the PC-24, I mean PC-12, kind of looked better. But the livery included is kind of ugly, though, I must say. But, like, it kind of has, like, those stains on it, which, I mean, I can understand why it makes it more realistic. But the thing that I hate about this mod is look at the propellers. Look at how they're just, just look at them. Like, they're having a stroke right now. Look at how they're just wiggling and... It looks disgusting, and from this end, it's the same thing. It just, look at that, it looks so disgusting, you know? So, let's go ahead and perform a ditching here, you know? Let's go ahead and kind of just get the plane down, and as you would in the normal ditching. You know, we do have to kind of go slow here, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's actually not do a hard... Ditching this time, let's do a smooth landing like we did. Did a few videos ago. I mean, I haven't done a smooth landing in a long time. I don't know what I'm saying, but the last landing was a total disaster, and I think the main landing gears on our Pilatus 12 need uh maintenance. Okay. So let's kind of put this plane down. Let's go ahead and put her down. Let's go ahead and turn the reverser on. So that we can slow down. And then, we'll, okay, let's do the reversal. And, oh, oh, we have just died. Oh, I think we just cartwheeled. You know, we didn't cartwheel, but I'm sure if that was in real life, we would have cartwheeled. 
Oh, wow, as you can see here, you got the nice King Air cockpit here. I mean, there's the King Air cockpit. And we just died, so, uh. Well, let's go ahead and get back to the front view. All right, there we go. Let's move on to the next add-on. Okay, as you can hear, my MSI is dying. I mean, even though it's got an i7 and a RTX 2060. Okay. Um, let's. Ch this is something that I've actually wanted to check out for a very long time now. The Airbus A330 Neo here. As you can see, we have a bunch of liveries. I'm gonna go with Delta because that's my favorite airline. Let's customization. Let's do the call sign to, um, let's change it to Delta 1104, because that's the flight number that serves from JFK to Las Vegas, and that is the route I did on the Christmas special. In case any of you guys haven't watched it yet, I did a Christmas special, because I was flying on Christmas Day, and I didn't upload it to, like, New Year's Eve or something like that, yeah. So, let's go ahead and uh, perform a takeoff out of runway 31 left. And I'm going to go ahead and put my yoke away. Because I think this might just be our final add-on aircraft today. And uh, I just want to say, I actually kind of want to do a series with these types of videos where I review add-ons. Right? And so this is episode one, and I might be doing this weekly, monthly, or however of a chance I get to upload here. As you can see, we got a very nice model of Corsable Airport here. The first A330 Neo was delivered to TAP Air Portugal on November 26th, 2018, and it made its first flight on October 19th, 2017. And it's got a range of 7,200 nautical miles and can fly for 15 hours. Wow. Um, not really well, because the 747 can fly further than that. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, we're already 17 minutes into the video, so I kind of just want to get going, maybe do one more aircraft and then just end it there. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so... We're gonna get into the simulator in a few minutes here. It's slowly loading. I don't know why it's taking this long to load. But, um, yeah. We're performing just fine with the, uh, graphics, actually. And, uh, yeah, my PC is kind of having a stroke right now. When I mean PC, I mean my laptop. It's kind of having a stroke, but uh, that's not a problem. Um, if we can just get in here. Should I guys start playing Roblox again? I, I mean, I've already made one Roblox video. I might do it with my friend David this time, though. Um, I was on mobile last time, and I think a lot of you guys are going to hate me for that. But if I do it on PC, I'm going to look even more newbie, because I suck at, suck at PC. So, uh... Yeah, you guys let me know in the comments down below, and uh, I'll think about it. Oh, and you should comment if I should start doing more videos on the main channel other than just airline reviews. You know, maybe I can do things like vlogs every day, you know? It all depends. So, um, let's just go ahead and get this video rolling. After this add-on, maybe, or after another add-on after this. I, what am I saying? Just screw it. Whatever. All right. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, kind of fly around here. We're at Flaps 10, and let's just go ahead and maximum power take off. Like, there's no tomorrow. At least the parking brake, and uh, we can just get going. Um, yep. So we're going to go ahead and slowly roll here. This is JFK's longest runway. Let's go ahead and turn the auto throttle off so we can get to 100% and 1. Let's go ahead and maintain center line a little bit. And this plane has a very good tendency with excursions. It doesn't go off the runway. 
and it's got a uh, 101% M1 packed in it. So uh, let's just go ahead and rotate. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. And then we're off the ground. My FPS is kind of dying here. And so are the graphics. Oh, let's go ahead and put the views up. Shut up. Okay. It, it keeps telling me to put the uh, throttles to 70%, but let's just go ahead and reduce to uh, CL and turn the auto throttles on. And uh, let's go ahead. Should we do some flight testing in the city here? I feel like that's kind of a bad idea because if, if anything goes wrong, oh my god, wait a minute. Guys, look, there's a 747. I don't know what that idiot's doing, but uh, yeah. Whoever's flying that 747, please don't hurt me, I'm just playing. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and see the inside view. Alright, so obviously this is, in a, this is a stolen A320 cockpit, it, right? Because this is what a lot of the Airbus planes do, and their cockpit's almost like I... Are you kidding me? It says it's an E320 NX! Alright, let's go ahead and put the flaps up so we can accelerate. Are you kidding me? It literally says it's an E320! Okay, that, I, okay I'm actually disappointed by that. Right? Oh, and the 747 is taking off as just a white speck here. And let's just go ahead and kind of make this bank a little bit. Alright. All right, I kind of do want to test the uh, sharp banking ability of this plane. Okay. Oh, wow. The banking ability is quite good. It's so good. I mean, just look at it. Jeez. Oh my god, we're going to die. I don't want to die. I, we're probably overstressing the air frame so much here. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna fly around here. Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and come in here for a landing. So let's go ahead and put the speed brakes up. So that we can slow down a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh... Turn the auto throttle off and begin to manually reduce power. And I'll go ahead and put the gears down and the flaps full. And we're going to go ahead and put some pressure on the forward pressure on the stick just to make sure that the flaps don't start taking us up into the air. Okay. We're slowing down. Let's go ahead and power idle. And let's come in here for. This runway right here of JFK, I don't know if this is the safest thing to be doing, but uh, it sure is worth the risk. I mean, this is the A330. I mean, just look at the beautiful tilted landing gear. Like, it's it's what makes the landings look and feel so smooth, even though they might not feel smooth. But it just makes the landings look very, very good. Uh, can, I do the, can I pull the reverse from midair? Oh, I can't. Okay, so we're just going at full slow flying performance right now. We're coming in way too fast. Okay, so we're going to try to come in here for a successful landing and possibly make it even smooth. Go ahead and... We're coming in at an extremely fast speed. This is almost like you're, I'm in an air show right now. Okay. Oh. Okay, we've slowed down quite a good bit, so this should be helpful on our smooth landing. Let's go ahead and make it as smooth as possible. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna do it from the outside view, just so I know when we've touched down. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Chat! 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 Somebody clip that! Somebody clip that! Somebody clip that right now! Clip that! Clip that! Chat! Clip that! Clip that! Clip that! Chat! 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 Somebody clip that! Somebody clip that! Someone someone clip that right now! Somebody clip it right now! You have just made the smoothest landing I've ever done in my life! Oh my god! 
Even though we might have bounced a little bit, who cares? Chat, somebody just clip that. Somebody just clip that right now. Somebody clip that right now. Someone clip that. All right, let's go ahead and put the speed brakes down. Flaps up. Uh, and let's just go ahead and reverse here. Chat, somebody clip that. Somebody clip that, chat. Chat, just clip it. Clip it. All right, we're just on reverse here. Oh my god. Who is flying over us? Chat! Somebody clip that! Somebody just clip it. Somebody just clip that. Someone just, just, just clip it. Clip, clip. Just somebody chat. Somebody put that. Someone put that. All right. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and the first episode of Add On Review by Kid Flyer. Thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year and peace out. Like and subscribe.